now i'm going to tell you in the next video some more programs okay. so here in the last program in the last video i have uh, done this program now suppose we are going to do some more on this suppose if the user is valid okay and now we are going to move to a new page so what we will do so suppose we have one more page and the name of the page is suppose profile dot jsp okay so this is the profile dot jsp page and now we have this profile dot page jsp here i have written the title as profile page Here we have written if the username is admin, the password is admin. So earlier we have displayed a message valid user. Now we are doing some more. We are redirecting it to a new page. So we have a response implicit object, and in response we have a method send redirect. Okay, send redirect, and the location is profile dot. GSP. So suppose if uh, this particular username and password is valid, then it will be redirected to a new page. Else, it will show a invalid user. You can also create a new page for the invalid user also. But uh, I have written a message. So let's have a code for that. So here I will write welcome. Okay, and now I'm going to execute this from the here. So I have written the username as admin and the password as admin, and click on the login button. Now. The pro name of the page is profile dot gsp will open and it will show a you uh, message welcome admin. Okay, suppose I am given wrong password and click on the login. It will show a message invalid user on the page login dot gsp. So in this way we are going to redirect to a new page. Suppose this concept I will use uh, in the project also. So suppose if the user is a particular user is match, then it will be redirected to its profile, and all the profile details will be displayed. Okay, so this is little bit complex. I will implement it later. So we have some more code. Let's do some more code. So we have an idea of scriptlet. We have just done this example also. Now the expression tag comes into play. Here we have a syntax as this less than modulus equals to and a statement and then modulus greater than. Okay, and uh, we have uh, discussed this particular example. So we have discussed this example. Now suppose if I am going to implement this code in our JSP. So in uh, our Java package we have a util package and in calendar we have to fetch the current system time. Okay, so suppose in profile. I am going to write the JSP code as uh, Java dot. Now the package is util. Then class is calendar. Then dot. Get instance. dot get display name or uh, get time okay so uh, here i'm going to display the time 
so the message as well as the current time will be displayed okay so let's again execute this uh, okay i have to go back and the password is admin okay so here we will see that the welcome admin as as well as message and wednesday april 15 175 as this is a system time indian standard time 2020 so the complete information will be displayed you can also use this information uh, just to create a log of particular user you can at any time the user will log in a system you will uh, record these details okay so it will be very helpful for your project also you can also display these this information when a user log into the profile it will be displayed in on the top of the profile so this is the way you can use uh, this particular code so the expression tag we will directly uh, use and uh, remember that don't put semicolon here okay next we have a declaration tag so declaration tag we have the syntax like this we have uh, mod less than modular explanation mark and modular than greater and we have also discussed one for program also so here we have declared any variable and we will we will print the value of the variable in this particular section in the okay so let's do this example also suppose we have declared int data equals to 40 and we are going to print this so here i have written data just so i have to write the name okay now i am going to print this so the data is printed here that is 40 so let's have a new program so we have also discussed this particular program so here we have a method cube and we will print the value of that particular method and we will call this particular code from here okay so we have a declaration as well as expression as well as scriptlet so with these uh, code we are going to execute our basic gsp codes okay so let's try this example so we have a method q as we have written math dot power so it will return a double type that's why i have to change the return type to double 
and now i'm going to print the execute this program so i want to call this particular method queue and pass variable 3 okay now i'm going to remove this particular code uh, now i'm going to execute this fraud so 27.0 it will be executed okay so it will return in double type that's why you have to change the return type to double so in this way small codes you can also uh, do in your jsp uh, code so we have a clear idea about that now uh, there is one configuration file you have to add we have uh, now a little bit uh, done uh, so many codes we have a web.inf also okay so in web.inf select you have to select a uh, web.xml file so I have to add so I have to find the web.xml configuration file here it is a standard deployment descriptor web.xml okay so in web uh, web inf folder you have to add this particular file web xml then do next and then finish now you'll see this is the configuration file of your project okay here it is web.xml there are so many configuration you have to do so the first configuration i'm going to tell you you have to change the your particular home page so the home page currently is this index.html suppose i'm going to change the index page to the jsp1 so suppose i'm going to copy this code okay and i want to change this html page to the jsp1 so we have a configuration here web.xml double click on that and then select the pages here i'll show the list of pages so welcome files okay now first create a new file jsp with the name index finish it now we have two files index.html and index.jsp now in index.jsp i am going to write the same code as in the html okay i have just copied it and pasted here now i am going to delete this code so now my project contains index.jsp login.jsp and profile.jsp so i have deleted the html code so my home page is now i have to change it okay suppose i am going to run the project uh, here i have uh, select this and i am going to write and run this okay so this time i want to change the home page so select this and in pages you have to browse it expand it and select this one and select file this okay and save it now in source you'll see the welcome file is now index.jsp okay uh, here some are like some configuration here uh, given that session timeout is 30 welcome file is index.jsp so these are the configuration that will be exist in the web.xml so you will add this particular file if your project does not have okay so i'm going to end this video and in next video i'm going to explore some more concepts of jsp 
uh, you can explore one by one all the program and execute all the programs if you have any problem regarding the configuration you can ask me okay